With whom did father have a duel and lose? For what reason did he fight and die? Even I don't know for sure. The day after he disappeared, in Father's room I found a letter addressed to me. It said, Ryu, I am on my way to a life or death duel. If it is destiny that I not return, you are to take the dragon sword of the Hayabusa family, and go to America and see the archaeologist, Walter Smith. Ryu, be always brave. I will get my revenge! Hey everybody, Silver here, and, uh, well, I am supposed to be a ninja. Took me long enough to get to a ninja-themed game, huh? <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play Ninja Gaiden, a classic Nintendo game that is infamous for being insanely difficult. And as I play through this game, you're going to see why. But enough about that. Let's get started. It plays pretty similar to Castlevania. You'll notice there's a timer up top, has a life counter, uh, I have a health bar, and the boss of the level has a health bar. Uh, whoop. Let's see. You get items from the uh, lanterns or some objects that act like that. Uh, sometimes you get sub-weapons, sometimes you get uh, Ninpo, which is basically the ammo for those sub-weapons. The blue squares are 5 Ninpo, the red squares are 10. And sometimes you just get little bags or pots to uh, get points. Whoop! Alright. Uh, this one you are going to want. The Dragon Sword Spin technique. Basically, it's a somersault technique that allows you to jump and attack at the same time. And with that, you can just shred through enemies. It does consume, I think, 15 Ninpo per use, though. Oop. Ow. And boss time! Alright, not bad. Only took one hit. And this attack makes bosses a joke. Look at that. I just used it once. Whee! Who are they? They seem to be following me. Who's there? Uh, just a girl. Get out of here. I will. But first... What the? See, Ryu? This is why you respect women, otherwise you get shot. See, the anesthetic is wearing off. Who are you? Shh, don't make so much noise. I've got a favor to ask of you. Here, take this and escape. What is this... this statue? There's no time to explain. Hurry. Hey, wait! Who are you? Didn't you try to kill me? Be careful. Alright, stage two, here we go. We're breaking out of prison. Thanks to having somebody on the inside. Alright. And this prison has some bats. Ooh, this is a good one. 
Oh, nope. Come on, get onto the platform proper. Thank you. Now this one is a good weapon, the Fuma Shuriken. You have the regular Shuriken, which just fires one at a time in a straight line, and then you have the Fuma Shuriken, which acts like a boomerang. Like so. It's really handy if you have a lot of enemies to deal with. There. Oh. Get off of me! Get off of me, Mike Tyson! Why do they have boxers in this prison facility anyway? Uh, boop. Yep. Ow. Alright. Uh, be careful of the guys in orange with the jackets. They will throw knives at you. This thing again? Oh, okay. <sighs> well, the good news about the earlier stages is that the checkpointing is kind of generous. Oop. There we go. We are out in the open. Now we just gotta make our way through wherever the hell we are. Rocky Mountains? Ow. Alright. Whoop! Army soldiers? What the heck? Hey, bullshit! That, la that attack totally hit. Whoop! Alright. Uh, boop! Let's climb down. If you were to just jump down uh, on that screen, it would count as a pitfall, and you will lose a life. So be careful about that. This here is basically the Super Mario Starman of the game. The Ring of Fire. You can just barrel through enemies like no problem, and you won't take any damage unless you fall into a pit. Whoop! Uh, whoop! There we go. Whoop! There we go. Dragon spin! There we go. Whoop! Whoop! There we go. Whoop! I, I hit the jump button. I totally hit the jump button. <sighs> it's been a while since I played this game. I hit the jump button there, too. Uh, be right back. Oh, okay, it just takes us back here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back here. The bats. Beep. Ow, come on. There we go. What's with all these army soldiers running around? What is this, bad company? Up, up, up. Whoop. There we go. Hey. I'll just let you go. Bye. Next boss! Whoa. Okay. So he got a hit on me. Yeah, Dragon Spin is totally overpowered in this game. If you have enough Ninpo, it's insane. What is this bizarre statue anyway? And who was that woman? As I grew more and more suspicious, I went off to look for that supposed acquaintance of my father's, Mr. Smith. Here we go, Act 3. Who is it? You must be Walter Smith. The name's Ryu. Ryu Hayabusa. 
Uh, that sword! Hmm, of course, you must be Ken Hayabusa's son. In his last letter, my father told me I should see you. Last letter? I see. So it has already begun. Ken and I were on an expedition to some old Amazon ruins. We found a strange statue and stone tablet. On the tablet, it said, uh... Wait a minute. You mean to tell that statue? Yes, precisely. I thought it had been stolen. That demon statue possesses enough evil power to destroy an entire nation. A demon came to this earth and caused many deaths. But then Shinobi appeared to stop the demon. Shinobi borrowed the strength of the dragon and countered each of the demon's spells and thus was able to overcome it. Yet, though it was defeated, the demon was not dead. So Shinobi confined the evil power of the demon in two statues of light and shadow. And the body of the demon was confined within a temple. This one must be the Shadow Statue. Therefore... And now I've got it! Bye, friend! What the? After him, Ryu! Ryu, you are the worst ninja ever. You should have seen that coming. Hey, I totally swung. Alright. And leopards, we're in the forest area, we're, like, oh, that thing I just grabbed that made everything freeze, uh, it looks like an hourglass, it freezes time for a few seconds, you know, like, zawarudo, ow, that's what I get for referencing Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And these birds, they are probably the most annoying thing in this game. Uh, get ready to see a lot of birds in this game, and... Uh, so now we're actually in the mountaintops. Whoop! I, I meant to jump there. Come on. Whee! Whoop! Whoop! Alright, I seem to be managing. Uh, for this area, I prefer to take the top pass. Whoop. Uh, here's hoping! Blah. Gotcha. And, for whatever reason, I squirreled that guy off the screen somehow. Alright. Getting a lot of ninpo. amount of info here. Whoop! No! Dang it! <clears throat> well, and now I'm all the way back here. Great. Whoop! Oh, by the way, in true ninja fashion, if anybody's shooting bullets, there's a good chance you can actually knock it out of the air. Up.
Uh, here's hoping I can do this right. Whoop, fake that guy out. Oh, jeez! Infinite spawn point! Okay, yeah, that jump is, like, super rude. Uh, don't be surprised if I get a game over, because... Uh, this is where this game actually does get a little on the hard side. Ow. Mainly because of those stupid goddamn birds! Da -da -da. Stupid goddamn birds. Whoop! Somehow I keep managing to scroll that guy off the screen, whether I mean to or not. Safe state here, just in case. Now this guy! Whoop! Fuma Shuriken actually makes him kind of a joke. Whoop! It would probably help if I... Uh, whatever. Rewind. Basically, just crouch down, keep slashing. Doesn't matter which direction you face, as long as you're facing the things. Oop! Oh, I, I turned left! Uh. Ow. Ow. Alright, that one was going badly. That wasn't the run. That wasn't to earn. Boop, boop, boop. Dang it. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Whoa, okay, that was BS. He's almost dead! Oh, bullshit. Whenever you see that uh, life lose thing with the, the flashing lights, that means that was your last life and you get a game over. Ugh, that was annoying. I have a feeling a good part of that was just me being clumsy, though. After getting back the demon statue, I felt a strange premonition and hurried back. Dr. Smith! The light demon statue was taken. The light statue? Yes. Your father and I, we each kept one of the statues, just in case. <coughs> so that the two statues would never become one. The demon's been asleep for 700 years, and now it's starting to wake up. Whatever we do, we've got to stop it. Got to get it back. There's no choice. You've got to become the Ninja Dragon. Dr. Smith! Dr. Smith! Huh. Come with us. Ryu, you are the worst ninja ever. Seriously, let, let, let's recap this, okay? He gets tranquilized by some random woman he just met in a bar. He has a rival ninja steal the statue from right in front of him, and now he gets caught by the men in black. What the fuck? 
Uh, ah, jeez. Ryu is seriously the worst ninja ever. I have so many problems with this. Uh, I think I'm going to call it for now. Uh, the next video is probably going to be me doing the next couple of stages. I'm probably not going to make it to the last stage for another video. But this is where I'm going to call it. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And I will see you again next time. Until then, this is Silver, telling you to stay Silver.